Perhaps you will be asking how a star player such as Angel Reese can result in a team losing the game. Indeed, it is not only the events that took place on the court, it was what has been simmering in the background. Okay, before we proceed with the next part of the article, read this excerpt, because Reese's teammates saw red in this instance. Before we continue further, we have a small request to make to you. If you liked reading this article, a few seconds of your time can help the channel. Like this video and subscribe. That is why more than 98% of you watch these videos without subscribing. Now let's go back to the video. It sounds a little like a play on words, but to those who know basketball, you know that double part is referring to points in the paint. Angel Reese's rebound rampage on the 25th of August left a bad taste in the mouth of her team, then eliciting applause for her. Reese managed to grab the basketball 20 rebounds for that, and yet her team lost the game. Personally, I still cannot understand how that even happens. As much as Reese was effective in going after the balls in his quest for rebounds, this might have been a problem for the team. Picture this. Ironically, Reese Intentional ignores her easy layups, which is a testament of how obsessed she is with the rim. The ball barely bounces off and she is so eager to grab it. Yes, you heard that, right? This is an example of how we have players who purposely shoot and later on force themselves to avoid getting the ball so that those rebounds could be garnered by her. It is as though she is playing her own little game of tennis right on the middle of the hockey field and her teammates are suffering the most. Well, you may ask, but rebounds are healthy, aren't they? Of course they are, except if the team equates rebounds with actual points. Basketball is a game where one has to get the ball through the hoop not to bounce off before being grabbed. Reese? For some reason, she's been treating rebound like it is the new currency of basketball and is causing more harm than good on the team. Let's break it down. Since the Olympic break, Reese has only made 32% of his shots across the five games played so far. 4%. Not only is that a subpar performance, but it isn't even on par with most teams. It's subpar for even the bench players. But rather than focusing on how to make better shots, she is content with increasing her rebounds. And here's where it gets really wild. Even when every single point counts and it is apparent that the game is about to be decided, Reese was still pursuing the boards. In some of the games, she could have passed to an open teammate or took a better shot, but instead, she settled for an ill-advised shot, missed, and then went for the rebound. I go to work and see a person slapping a ball back and forth against his own hand, while the team is attempting to actually succeed. Her teammates? Not only are they frustrated, they are angry. Just think getting back and playing fantastic defense, sticking your foot in the ground, preventing the other team from scoring, steal, full head of steam, good position, perfect shot opportunity only to look at your teammate who will turn his back on you just to get another rebound. This will surely drive anyone out of his or her mind. The last nail in the coffin really happened at the last few moments of that game. The match was in the close fight. Spectator's attention was focused on the field, and Reese had an opportunity to become the Raposa of the team. But, as you already guessed, she did not go for plain vanilla. Instead, she went for another rebound. The ball swished through the rim, and the clock indicated that the time has ended and the game over. Reese reached her, his 20th rebound, but that was it as the team suffered another loss. The locker room? This was about to burst out. Things get ugly when a team's jewel becomes the issue, and that is what Washington faces concerning the Wizards. Reese's teammates were shouldering a lot of burden, and after the given defeat, they are just beginning to realize what it means. Finally, when they blew the horn rather than joining the McNulty's team huddle, they were full of anger. Some of the things that one of the players was heard to say are, let's play for the team, not individual play. Such statements really hurt for a composed team. It is the kind of comment that makes you feel the pain in your heart at any given time, especially if the comment was directed towards the so-called team leader. But for real, we can't blame this feeling of frustration to happen on the spur of the moment. This is clearly seen from Reese, whose arrogant and rude behavior has been wearing down her teammates for the past few episodes. In fact, she has kind of a credibility when it comes to being, I guess you can say, difficult to get along with. It's like playing in a band team while your lead singer keeps on performing as a solo artist. 
It is not just her personality, as I've mentioned earlier, that personality has its effects undoubtedly, but there it is can be easily changed. The team has been performing poorly for the last few games. To be precise, one may term it as disaster. They have had a series of losses that have made the fans and analysts to start crying foul. But while the team continues to struggle in assembly, Reese's numbers, on the other hand, are improving. Coincidence? Her teammates do not agree with that. More so, the rebounds increase every game, but so does the number of losses for the team. Her teammates are left wondering, is she playing for the logo of the team or for number which is on the back of her shirt? Despite having totally failed to fulfill his initial aim, the locker room is now colder than ever. What used to be support and appreciation from other players is now disdain from Reese. What was once friendly and jovial meals with teammates are now a forced and uncomfortable sit-down. However, if things got to this level after the heartbreaking defeat in the last second, then that was it. After this event, one of Reese's teammate erupted Junior sat down as the teams exited the court. Contrary to this, we're a team, not your personal highlight reel. She said like fired bullets. Some people are helpless in its presence, others are afraid of it. But the words themselves was something that hung in the air like a storm cloud. And then with all expectations of solid teamwork gone to the dogs, especially for women's basketball, comes a player who is not ready to redefine the ball game. Step in Caitlin Clark, the polar opposite of Angel Reese. Clark's getting attention, which may not be a good thing, for more than individual great performance. That's how she proves everybody that it can be possible to be a star and be a team player at the same time. While Reese is someplace running for hops of claiming more rebounds, Clark is somewhere making her entire team rise. What Clark's strategy to the game? They decided it is all about working in the team and sacrifice everything just for the success. I'm not only witnessing her play basketball. She isn't just playing the sport. She is orchestrating a concert on the hardwood floor. Each pass, each shot is a reminder to her teammates that she wants them to improve, and it is taking effect. This is a team that is winning, and they are doing this while having fun of it. However, you may be wondering where her stats are. Do not worry, because Clark had some amazing figures. But here is where it differs. Her stats are doing what, stating her case. They are helping win rather than build a facade. She is hitting the net like no one's business and do not even get me started on those handsome assists. It's starting to mutate into points and victories. Clark's energy is infectious. Her fellow teammates are not covering their eyes, they are exercising heightened spirit and working extra hard. Being in a detailed plan is as if you are watching a well-coordinated performing system where everybody understands what is expected of him or her. The result? Clark is improving his position along with his team, while Reese sinks along with his team. The contrast is stark. This is while one player is only being concerned with achieving his, her, personal glory, and on the other hand, there is a player who is pursuing the success of his, her, team. Okay, so what's the bottom line here? Finally, it may be said that basketball yet again mercilessly opposes egocentrism inherent in every person and glorifies teamwork. The movie of Clark shows that one can be a celebrity and yet make other people rise up. Reese's story, however, teaches us that they are times when the main problem is not in the hand but in yourself. Well, if you loved this, do not hesitate of clicking that like button and subscribe for other videos about hoops. So, yeah, this season has been pretty good. It's free. Until the next time, I'd see you in the next video.